There was a whacked out event at Trump's Doral Resort in Florida where Dr. Peter McCullough, one of the big we I guess I would call him like an anti vax pseudoscience dignitary who rose in the age of covid. Dr. Peter McCullough, see if you can follow this. OK, he suggested at this completely bonkers event the covid vaccines cause autism. Autism turns people trans. Therefore, using our what is that the commutative property from algebra pre algebra, therefore vaccinations cause trans. This is really weaponized stuff. It must be something happening to the children, something in the in the air in the water or the food. One theory is that it's hyper vaccination from an accelerating childhood vaccine schedule. Huh. So he's saying it's just, it's vaccines in general, not even just the covid vaccine. That's a theory. It's not really a theory. We spoke about this yesterday on the voicemail. It's not actually a theory in the scientific sense. It's the idle speculation of someone who has no basis in fact for making the claim. But we should have an all hands on deck. Oh, yeah. Manhattan Project to figure out what is causing autism and how can we stop it? Because once it's present, I can tell you as a doctor, it's very difficult to treat. And as, as a parent, any of you with autistic children know as a parent, it can take everything you have as a person, sometimes for the rest of your life as a couple to deal with a severely autistic uh, affected child. All of you know that. Autism now is critically linked as these children are coming forward in large numbers to transgenderism. Whoa. Yes, the two are linked. Imagine cheering for that. So do an inventory of what you have. Do an inventory of your family and of your friends. Gather together and understand this mental contagion is infectious and it's spreading and we've seen the chapters now covid the illness covid vaccination a wave of autism that's just burning us and now transgenderism these all right so the, again the argument he's making is vaccines cause autism autism causes trans now a little background on dr peter mccullough he regularly has spread uh baseless and ultimately debunked uh, medical misinformation. Uh, he's a cardiologist. He uh, said uh, we should be using hydroxychloroquine for treating covid. Uh, that was determined. He said that at a time when there was no actual good science saying that that was effective. We ultimately found found out hydroxychloroquine is not effective for covid. He did the same thing with ivermectin at a time when we didn't have a reason to believe ivermectin was effective. Ultimately, a double blind randomized controlled trials determined ivermectin is not effective and on and on and on. Now, let's talk about a couple different things here. First of all, the wave of autism. There is a question and we're going to actually do an interview on the show about this coming up. Is there really more and more autism or are we now understanding how to better diagnose it? And there were lots of people who 20 years ago would never have been diagnosed, but they were autistic. I've spoken to friends of mine about classmates we had in third, fourth grade, and we now realize and they have since been diagnosed as autistic in their 20s and 30s. They were always autistic. It just wasn't understood as well at the time. And so there's a question as to whether there is a wave of autism or the diagnostic criteria are better understood. Regardless, there's no evidence that vaccines cause autism. This all goes back to 1998. Dr. Andrew Wakefield put a study out in The Lancet, prestigious medical journal. The study has since been retracted and Wakefield has lost his license. It claimed on the basis of 12 children that there was a link between the MMR vaccine and autism. The study was retracted. Wakefield was found guilty of fraud, ethical violations, financial conflicts of interest. The data was biased, selective and falsified, and he lost his medical license. Even if vaccines caused autism, which they don't, there is no logical or biological reason why autism would turn people trans. 
Some autistic people may identify as trans. Most don't. Some trans people may be autistic. Most are not. There's no evidence that vaccines cause autism and that autism influences gender identity. But this is a hero to the MAGA right. This is the MAGA Republican right at an event held at Trump's Doral Resort. 